from January 21st from the Lord that I am released finally to share it now. And I just want to pray. Thank you, Father, for the listener. Thank you for their, I just hear profitability. I thank you for impressing on them the wealth that they have because they have the kingdom in them and they have the wealth of the kingdom. They have the wealth of their father. Father, I prophesy that over their lives. I thank you that that expresses itself through them just as your power expresses itself through them just as your authority expresses itself through them i thank you that this is the great manifestation of your kingdom coming that has built itself within the temple and is now coming to express itself out of the temple father i thank you for their lives their long suffering everything you give them to walk in faith and not by sight i thank you for their their presence in the world as these these physical temples that enable the kingdom of God to be here on earth because they're holders of the kingdom, they're holders of the word of God, they're holders of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Father, for keeping them healthy and for keeping them hopeful and to keep them speaking life and uh, studying the word, staying in the word, and just uh, really starting to see the release of all the things that you're about to do in their lives because you've promised it because you've promised it you will do what you said and we just call that forth right now we agree with it in jesus name amen this dream was so simple it was so fast it was here's what happened okay i received an irs check of six hundred dollars in the mail it came with papers like a form or contract to sign in order to receive the money so you know how the government sent <laughs> oh, this makes me laugh because every time the government gives you something, they want something, right? So they want they want your address, they want your information, they want you to sign something, they want to know something about you. So that just makes me laugh because every time you see something like that, you're like, Oh, I don't I don't know. I don't know if I want that six hundred dollars. So in the dream, I was like, I don't know if I want to sign this thing. I don't know if I want to be linked to the IRS. I don't need the six hundred dollars that badly. So I woke up from that. Okay, so strong six six hundred Greek is to restore to give back. It says I set up again, restore to original position or condition to give back, i.e. that existed before a fall. That really stood out to me. Okay, so it also says returning to the ultimate ideal, to restore back to full freedom, to enjoy again. And we just had a video on this, why you're so tired because of this filling that he's doing. He has to have something empty to be able to fill you with himself. So this is right in line with that. And I think this is why it's getting released now. It can mean um, that which was taken away by a destructive or life-dominating power it's the re restoration of that. It's the restoration of dominion. And it's used in the three gospels, get this, to refer to miracle healings, parts of the body that are restored to health, reconstituted. Um, the Ark of the Covenant and the Mercy Seat was placed under Golgotha 600 years earlier. So 600 years before the Jesus shed his blood, the Ark of the Covenant was placed under Golgotha. Um, so that is a little tidbit of history also that I thought was interesting to note. Also, 600 in Genesis 7-11, it mentions both the number 600 and enough as in a great many, a store or much or more. So there's... Uh, some re I don't have Genesis 711 in front of me here, but I noted that. So maybe I could put that below. So let's get into what IRS means. IRS, the dream symbol, means, first of all, internal. We're going to take it part by part. Internal means intrinsic, effective within the body relating to mind, spirit, or uh, mind or spirit nature of domestic affairs of a nation. So this is the nation of Israel, the, the nation, the body of Christ, the intrinsic design of the body of Christ relating to the mind or spirit nature. Uh, revenue means the income from a government. 
um, from all sources appropriated for the payment and yield from investment income, return or reward, that which returns or comes back from an investment. Again, this is the pouring, the, the pouring in we were talking about in the last video. And then service is that which is done for others as for a superior or by a servant. So service is you're being given a service, like somebody is serving you. And it's, it's like God's assistance, God's help, his favor, his providing something that's needed. So the kingdom is providing that like this government of God is provided some providing something for you as a service, as yield for the investment that you've like a return, a return and a, a reward for your faith, for your, um, yielding to him. And it, this is effective within your body and within the body of Christ, the nation of Israel, the church, the, the people of God, the bride of Christ. It is this, um, that's where it's located. That's where this, this income, this yielding comes from this, or this, uh, reward comes into I'm trying to say this right. Okay. And then stimulus came up as well. And that's stimulus as a word. It's literally like, you know, the word stylus and stylus is means like a sort of like a pencil or something that you, um, you write with. Well, stimulus is like that. Stimulus is, is a goad. Literally it's something, it's like a long, uh, thing that you, can poke or goad somebody on or goad an animal on with a pastoral staff. It says something that excites or rouses the mind or spirit. So this will be your stimulus. So he's stimulating the sheep and the shepherds, even the shepherds are sheep as well, of course. And so we're all being goaded by this stimulus, by this IR, this internal revenue, this revenue that's coming into our internal body as a service from God for what we have done as far as walking in the faith and also just the time that we're in. And so a goad is a long stick or with a pointed end for prodding animals. Like I was saying, Judges 3, 31, um, Shamgar, the judge delivered Israel from the Philistines who were the sea peoples and the giants. Um, he delivered Israel by killing 600 men with an ox goad. So there's the uh, 600 appears along with a stimulus in that verse, in verse 331. So um, I thought, and that's about destroying the giants, destroying the sea people, the, the enemy, arch enemies of Israel. And Shemgar was a judge, so a judge did that. So it's God's judgment that's doing all of this. So that dream was me misunderstanding this check. So this check came in the mail, and something that comes in the mail is an answered prayer. So I got an answered prayer in the amount of the 600, which means this reestablishment of, of things, this payback. And it was from the IRS, which is God's government. And it in, comes into the body, into the body of Christ. So, but there was something that I needed to sign in order to receive it. And that is this, you know, what I see, because th this is really the scriptures, is that we, we sign our agreement with the marriage contract. We go forward with the marriage. We go forward with, to the wedding supper. We go forward to giving ourselves fully over to him. So I truly believe this because of what he's been doing in his body is, um, we're agreeing to say, I'm yours. I'm yours to serve you. I'm your servant. I, I'll gladly take all the, um, the kingdom, like the wealth of the kingdom, everything you've promised. And part of that covenant is for me to, to, to agree, to give you my life and to, to serve you for the rest of my days. So that is the dream and its interpretation. If you have any further interpretation, anything you want to share, please do below. So that is this quick dream. And I will see you guys in another video. I pray it blesses you. And I pray that you see this and that you do go ahead and say, God, I am yours. We have another video coming on. Um, here I am.
uh, the Lord had a word on this the other day. So let's look for that. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye for now.